Dumela, welcome back to Stoner Class. Today I'm not teaching you anything because I myself will be learning too. So I'm going to share with you a video of a great historian in Botswana that will be telling us about the three chiefs that played a very important role in making sure that Botswana is an independent country. Please watch with me. That means refuge. Ah, oh, yeah. A citizen of this country is called Mo. M-O. But it's plural. Yes. More than one. So okay. we're showing a portrait of a fighter or a warrior because we're talking about the wars. So these wars are known as the Tifakane wars, something in Petane wars. Okay. So Tifakane is more of Sesotho, in Petane, more of the Nguini languages. Okay. It has different meanings. It can mean splitting, crushing, scattering, or times of troubles. Yeah. So these were the wars which were caused by different factors from the south, you can say, South Africa. And the wars spread through the whole of Southern Africa. Mm. The wars started earlier, before 1820s. But this was the epic period of the, of the wars. And the ending is the 1850s. Mm. Because we mostly blame, blame Kishaka Zulu for the war. Yes. But the wars were caused by other factors. Okay. Like the slavery or slave labor. Yeah. Ivory chain, famines and drought, competition for land, superiority complex among kingdoms, and the rising of the Zulu kingdom under Kishaka Zulu. Mm. Which flee the wars from the south, going westwards, northwards, eastwards. So I say this country became a refuge mm. during the Tifatana wars, proclaiming to Rosanna English numbers. Even those stronger Tswana tribes who were welcoming the, the, the refugees yeah. became a refuge themselves. But yes, there were times when Botswana fought one another. Mm. We also wanted to expand some pastoral to other countries like Zimbabwe, Zambia, yeah. Lawi, even Africa. But today, there are more Batwana in South Africa than here in Botswana. Wow. During this period, there were no proper borders or boundaries for countries. 1895. Yeah. They were protesting against the transfer of this country to a sustainable this company. Ah. Yeah. Rose took over Zimbabwe, Zambia, and Malawi. Zimbabwe was called Southern Rhodesia. Mm. Zambia, Northern Rhodesia. Malawi, Nesaland. Mm. Rose plan was to put it to control. Oh. Into it's that small. So yeah. you convince the, the British officials here to transfer to this country. Wow. So secretly they agreed to do it. But if I turn around against the United States company, they went to put it Wow. Oh. Yeah, but they were a team of nine people. Okay. Reverend William Charles Willoughby from the London Eastern Search mm. was there in the British Embassy. He was with his name in Musa Howard. Mm. Simon C. Isa, a man from Minnesota. Was with the mm. Liquid Ile, Hofu Yamang was with Sili. I think took two men, David Seven of the end, when I But three men joined them from Afrika. Yes. Bessel and Motiva, John Koloi, Stephen Wow. They used to observe us. So that's the best way of the average of the Afrika. The Afrika is not again. They used to eat chain to eat on. They nice. ship to eat on to England. Nice. They went to Scotland, they went to Ireland, Sibiri went to Holland. So he was fluent in the Dutch language. Oh. Fluent. But he never mastered the English. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they even met Queen Victoria. Yes. But he was so shocked when he saw Queen Victoria. Yeah. He couldn't believe the king was so shocked. <laughs> so for him, the king was the world. Yes. He thought the king was a very big person. Oh. So he said the king had a beautiful face. Oh, and yeah. A sweet voice. Yeah. Kama called him Mama Sardinia. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, if you have questions, please let me know in the comment section.